Alright guys, uh, Roberto Travels here, um, Rambo uh, World Champion at uh, No Gi in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Pan American uh, Champion in, in Gi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and No Gi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu multiple, I think six times, a national champion. And today I want to, number one, uh, give uh, anybody who's interested in achieving the highest levels of Judo for Jiu Jitsu, for Judo, uh, the biggest recommendation I can possibly give uh, for Nick Del Popolo. Let me tell you a little story about me. What happens to me is actually I started doing Judo as a kid. I was uh, about seven years old. And you know, I, Cuba Judo is very aggressive, so I, I started in the gym and I was getting, I was doing pretty good until the Asian kid started beating my butt. And you know, I broke somebody's arm, everybody hated me in the gym, my dad pulled me out. I came to the United States, once in college, I took Judo because I remember my childhood days. And I started doing Judo in PE and I actually saw some guys doing Jiu Jitsu and uh, they were kicking my butt. And whatever what happened for a long time is I thought that Judo sucked. You know, it's completely honest. So what ended up happening was I completely gave up on judo. I said, no, jiu-jitsu is where it's at. These guys were fighting hard. And I kind of trained in judo gyms here and around there, picking some things, but same thing will happen. You know, I will go with some guys who, you know, who claim to be good and not very impressive, you know? It wasn't until I met, uh, met Nick Del Popolo that I actually regained uh, my faith back in judo. Because, you know, I always knew that judo was a strong thing but I felt Judy in the United States was a lost kind of art. And after working with him and uh, developing friendships with him, like I have realized that uh, there's so much there, you know? I don't, I, you know, to learn from both Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys, or Sambo guys, you know, I don't believe in, I don't believe in Judo or Sambo or Jiu Jitsu, I believe in grappling, you know, and I believe in the pursuit of excellence in that department. And, you know, Nick, Nick DePopolo is, you know, on an, is an excellent uh, practitioner and an excellent teacher too. So. You know, I'm here with my, 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 some of my most serious uh, uh, athletes are here on a working with uh, Nick and you know like have you guys benefited from this? Yeah, very good, right? So um, I want to give you my biggest uh, recommendation. Uh, he's a genuine guy, he's a you know, really friendly guy, great teacher and he's, you know, another thing, check this out. From experience, you don't get a lot of people who are actually going to teach you the real tricks, you know? And trust me, that in judo, the real tricks. Like you can do a throw for the rest of your life that you're never gonna hit it on your grandmother in a wheelchair. And that was my story. I would go to the gym and they show me this, you know, this black one show me. I like this. I like that. And I try it and it doesn't work. You know? But then after meeting Nick, I'm like, oh, no wonder it doesn't work. You know, so he is in heels and cold back, and there are a lot of people in the judo community that are full of it. You know, I've been around this game for 10 years, and there's some that are not. And Nick is the real deal. Um, so thank you, Nick, for everything you have done for Team Third Law and helping us uh, conquer our goals. So, for the Travis, check him out.